there with the real Cobra Burnout. And real quick, tell us how you felt after you got the invite. Well, I can, I can tell you I was really excited when I got the invite to, to be on the Ebomi Locked and Loaded show, radio show, podcast. I don't even know what it is. Oh, two hours of of uh, mayhem. Really excited. <laughs> um, so did it turn out the way you but, thought no. it would? No. no, it did not turn out the way I thought it would. Oh, no. There was something going on behind the scenes. I, I couldn't. I, I didn't have a visual on it because they didn't. They didn't let me uh, in on the video chat. But. Uh, so how do you feel about it? Well, how do I feel? I feel. I feel dirty, real dirty. Uh, this is something that's going to take me a long time to get over. I'm not sure if I'll ever get over it, actually. So what about the people that called in? Can you tell us anything about what, how that yeah, went? There were some, uh, there were some mean individuals calling in, and uh, if if someone did call in, happened to try to compliment me, boy, they were shut down hard. You know, I don't know. I there was a guy at the last. Uh, some sounded like a little Irish guy. I don't, little. Sounded like he could. Yeah, I think he was probably pretty short because it sounded like he could barely reach the phone <laughs> we're talking about a cell phone too I don't know he was trying to give me hell but at that point I was I was just numb from all the abuse during the show anyway so do you think you'll ever recover yeah, I don't know if I'll ever ever recover will you tune in next week am I gonna tune in next week Oh yeah, I am. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Real Cobra Burnout, for doing this interview with us. Boom.